and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing another brick in the mall. And we've got a lot of stuff researched now. We've got everything researched down to restaurants, and we've just started on bowling. And uh, we've got 290000 Pretty steady income. We're making <clears throat> about 10000 a day. I mean, we've we've almost hit 13000 uh, on special days and it really all depends on what people buy uh, and we've got all of the goods every available good to sell is in this store right now even the appliances but if we look at our needs we're not nearly hitting you know all of the things that we could so we need uh, you know, if you look in appliances, you look at uh, TV sets. You know, we're selling two TVs, but we could be selling 14 TVs if we specialized. And that would, that would garner us a massive boost in our income. Same with cameras. Uh, cameras are kind of a pricey item, and we, don't, we couldn't sell a whole lot, but we're going to need to to get to that third tier. So I think instead of starting with a food store, we're going to try, we're going to start with specialty stores on the secondary goods to try to hit that margin. Uh, and the first one I'm thinking, if we go to food, or no, if we go to beverages. So liquor, we have a massive amount of liquor that we can sell if we specialize in that. Same or similarly with wine. Uh, wine we could be selling a lot. And these have pretty good profit margins. And yeah, we could be selling a ton of this stuff if we specialize. So I think we're going to create two stores, a liquor store and a wine store. And the liquor store, you know, we're going to include maybe soda and, you know, beer. And then the wine store, we could have bottled water and juices. And that way we're satisfying the demand for all of them all the way up to the top tiers. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's get in here and uh, we want, I'm thinking we're going to want three, three checkouts for the liquor store and then f two for the wine store because the liquor is much higher in demand, maybe even four room for four checkouts so let's try to build foundations okay so to do that we're going to need an even number inside so it's going to be an we're going to need an even number so if we look at this store you know it's 16 wide so it's an even number um and that way we can get all of that demand satisfied so if we want four we're gonna need like 10 because that is one two three four yes that's a foundation that's four checkouts and let's make this a decent size here so that is, let's well, one, two, three, four checkouts. And then for the for the wine, let's do three checkouts. So that's one, let's see, one, two, three. Yep, that's three. So there is the wine. Now I'm going to want a central distribution system, hopefully for this. Uh, try to anyway get all that stuff built using up all our money oh our builder is going away so I'm gonna add a little bit onto this just to give us give us some room oh yeah build Build as much as you possibly can. Okay, why are you going down? There we go. Much better. 
So we got a little extra room. I, I wanted a little extra room in there for shelves and stuff. Uh, so our central distribution system, we're probably going to need two of them. Um, the loading the loading system gets kind of wonky because all you'll have, you know, trucks parking over here to deliver over here, and it'll just it'll just get weird. Um, so we're gonna want we're gonna want um, a, a stock room, a pretty big stock room in here for a lot. There'll be a lot of things being pulled out of this, uh, so we're gonna have walls. I want to make sure these walls are covered. Uh, and then, let's see. Uh, let's put in uh, those. That wall is fine. But uh, we're going to need some objects. We're going to need a staff door. Like right in the middle. We're going to need a staff door over here as well. And then double doors, uh, we have th three, and yeah, that takes up three. So we're going to want double doors here and, well, yeah, let's, let's get our foundation. This is going to be an entrance over here. So we're going to want that, and then build the walls across so it doesn't erase those objects double door here and here and that will be this will be an entrance to the mall we'll have probably another entrance over here somewhere uh, which will allow more access to the storage room all right so that takes care of all of that. Let's get our checkout counters in. And one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. I think that's how we wanted it. Maybe I only wanted two down here, but that works. And then the shelves, um, let's see, food shelf. I'm not seeing any, oh yeah, liquor, soda, candles. Okay, food shelf. Uh, we're gonna want liquor to be the majority of these. So I'm gonna have quite a lot of those with liquor. And then we're gonna have a few more there. And then down here, same deal. We're gonna have wine. One, two, oh, three, four, seven with wine and then we're going to have just a couple here for other things. I can't set, you know, once these are built, I can't actually set them yet. Uh, we will get to that in a second. Uh, let's go to road work. We're going to have a loading zone. We're going to take up quite a lot of this with a loading zone. And yeah, we can't actually select see it does not belong to any active zone so we need to actually set up this system so we need to do a sign storage I want this to be a storage oh that's kind of loud I'm gonna let let her build now if anybody has any recommendations for a type of store let me know uh, you know in the comments leave a note of you know type of store like liquor colon and then the name of the store uh, and then we will take some good suggestions and and name our stores stores like that otherwise i'm just going to kind of play it by ear so this store right here this is a separate store from the bottom so we're just going to assign this uh, to be on that store and then we're going to assign another one down here so there's two different stores. Now, the store four, this is the top one. This is going to be our liquor store. First, let's assign that storage. And then let's name this uh, temporary name. Um, L-I-Q-U-R. 
Uh, or no liquor i don't know whatever doesn't matter we're going to change the name let me know in the comments uh what names we should uh we should go for uh q is full are you serious wow that is that is the first i've seen of q's full interesting okay uh liquor and then we have store five uh sign storage that same storage and we are going to set this to this is wine yes i know i didn't spell that right but uh it's wine yeah restaurants we're gonna get a lot of those restaurant errors uh so just expect those Okay, and we're going to also build foundations. We're going to build these out here. And we're going to make sure the walls stay there and there. Uh, and then objects, we're going to have a staff door right smack in the middle. Because this is going to be a storage for quite a lot around of stores around here so there's liquor and there's wine all right and i wanted to make sure oh what are you doing oh going around hopefully build the staff door there you go and what are you doing couldn't you just build those oh well i'm not gonna worry about it you can see we got now people loading and they're trying to come in here with it so pretty crazy uh anyway yeah that's why i wanted a whole lot of loading over here uh so we're gonna need we're gonna need some stock stalkers and we're gonna need some some uh, cashiers over here so beverages all of these top ones these are all going to be liquor uh yep beverages liquor beverages liquor Beverages, liquor. And that makes sure the majority of these store is liquor. And then the bottom one, we can just have, we're going to have beer, uh, maybe some more beer, and I don't know, soda and soda. Sounds good. Down here is going to be wine. So wine, wine wine and this will be all wine which will give us the percentages that we need and this bottom one will be bottled water and juices for some unknown reason so if we go to now manage this store you can see uh, okay, it's incomplete. We need cashiers and stock clerks, of course, so it won't actually show us. Uh, so let's first set the, these are all going to be open 24 hours because our, we're going to need them open 24 hours. The store is going to be so busy. Uh, so we're going to hire a cashier. Um, Yeah, I think you will probably be good. You're going to start working at 0, 100, and we're going to hire three cashiers to start. And let's see. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you are going to start at 8. And then we're going to have one more. Yeah, you're good there. So you're going to start at 16. So that gives us that gives us one for the whole day. And Q's full again wow wow look at that okay um so we need to also hire a stock clerk and let's see you are doing pretty oh you've got some good stats you've got really good stats so you are going to be a stock clerk starting at zero and we're going to hire another one look at the sociability on that 100 even that is a good person to hire for a cashier uh, and I'm thinking good sociability is I'm going to try to keep for cashiers. 
Uh, so you're going to start at eight. And one more stock clerk. Uh, good sociability. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, you are going to be a stock clerk. Stock clerks all day. Now, for another round of cashiers, because we're definitely going to need them, uh, let's hire another cashier. And, of course, we want that max sociability. And instead of starting, instead of doubling it up, starting it at zero, we're going to offset it by an hour. So this will be two cashiers all day. So another cashier, I'm thinking good sociability. And you're going to start at nine, so that's good. Hire cashier, one more. Good sociability. Ooh, great sociability. You are, and we're going to put this one at 17. So offsetting them by an hour will help maybe manage some of that some of that workload um, and and get get a little bit more going there. Uh, now the same the same is going to be true for the wine store. But before we do that, I'm going to build some customer parking all along here and just get a good amount of parking going close to this new store and, and let our builder you know have something to do so they're not wasting our money so you can see now we're able to run it and that's going to be really loud for a little while look at the lines over here that is shocking actually and we have way more people just by adding that store Oh, look at that, 63 possible. Oh, that's unbelievable. Just adding that other store is increasing the number of people that are coming to our new mall. So yeah, that that is a huge difference. And now we've got people now able to visit two different stores. And let's look at this. Now we have beverages 100% and liquor is 63%. So we are able to, if we go to beverages and we look at this, now we have all of these tiers done. And by looking at each individual shelf, let's uh, go to select here. You can see max product quality tier three. That tells you that we are now able to sell max quality stuff. So let's start managing wine get some staff let's start our stock clerk right away somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of sociability oh yeah we need to first set the hours and then dial that oh no you need to work for eight hours but come in right away and then a stock clerk I don't think we need as many stock clerks on this side of things so we're gonna kind of offset those a little bit but cashiers i kind of want at least two cashiers well maybe not let's look at the needs again so wine is 14 17 15 that's not too bad we're also selling a few other things in here but i yeah i'm not sure i think we're gonna need one all day and then you know at least one more during peak hours so we're gonna take we're gonna take you and you're gonna be you're gonna be our peak hour guy because you've got a lot of you've got a lot of experience in sociability. So we're gonna take you, start you at noon. And then we're gonna take uh you, you can be our opener. Another one sociability cashier, she she's not very sociable. And oh, you're Eric Gates. You're good for the second shift and the later shift. Ooh, yeah, nice. Ooh, even nicer. Yeah, you're gonna be the later shift. You're gonna need a little bit of patience. A little bit of patience to deal with those late night uh, wine goers. 
And this stock clerk doesn't have anything to do for reasons. All right. So looks like we are doing good. Our income yesterday really exceeded everything. And look at our customers on site, way higher, way, 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 way higher. And yeah, our, our total income has gone down because we're, we're building so much. So these stores, even though they're kind of sparse, uh, are kind of going to set the precedent. And as we, as we unlock these other road connections, uh, these stores are just going to get busier and busier because those needs go up. And that's why I wanted so many cashiers. You may not need them right away, but wow, do, does it make a difference uh, when you have a little bit of space to work with? Because I could also, when if, if push comes to shove, put some uh, uh, checkout counters over here and, you know, double that up just to even things out a little bit. And these are, these are set, right? Yeah, these are, these are all set. I just don't have the stock clerk coming in. Where is the stock clerk for this area down here? I'm not sure. Um... But uh, let's get some more customer parking in here. Because we got double doors there. We got these double doors here. I'm going to need some staff parking as well. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do uh, parking, parking road. We're going to have a road coming up connecting these. And we're going to have some staff parking up here. Uh-oh. Q's full again? No restaurants. That will pick up. We're gonna we're gonna build restaurants. We're gonna build a you know a food court. That's 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 a guarantee. Look at all the people. Holy cow. That is nuts. Oh, we're at ninety nine there it is. There it is. Look at that. We finally busted through that 100, 100 level. And then we're going to probably bust through the 200 level pretty quick. Because look at, I mean, we got a lot of customers, a lot of cars right now in here. And finally, we got some wine going so now we're gonna take away the beverages from up here because I don't want these beverages up here anymore as, as we do this this store will start to make less and less money and that's okay because we're gonna be making it up over here as our income increases so we're gonna do build remove walls and objects all of the beverages have to go. And I think we even have some. Yeah, we have some there, there, and there. So getting rid of those also helps the stockers keep up because we are selling stuff like crazy right now. I don't know. What impact that had? Look at that. Q's full. 47. That's insanity. How many Q's are full there? Just for adding another store. Increased. Dramatically increased the number of people we had in here. That is nuts. Alright. Well, that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.